One, two, three. Yeah! Perfect. Yes. Hey, Marty, after the game, I arranged it so you can meet the players. Awesome. Whoa. And when you do, I'll take pictures of you and the team. Really? Really. <laughs> You're the best. I'll say. And thank you for making this the best night of my life. Hey, no problem, buddy. Anytime. I'm just glad to see you so happy. <laughs> Fancy for trying to buy Marty's love and make herself look good to Luis by taking them to that stupid hockey game. Luis and Marty would be here having a nice family evening if Fancy hadn't horned in. I hope all her teeth get knocked out by a hockey puck. Wait a minute. Father wants me to use Marty to tear Luis and Fancy apart. And for once, I think Father knows best. I will do whatever I have to, to win Luis back. Pretty. Is your scar oozing again? No. Why? Because I thought maybe you came for some sterile pads to blot it with. Hmm. Actually, I was wondering if Luis was here. No. No, he's not. Good. Because we need to talk about him. Why? Because... <laughs> oh my god. That was Marty. What? Having fun? The best tie ever. Ugh, only fancy could look good under bright lights like that. You and your family seem to really be enjoying yourselves. Bruins rule! Go Bruins! Yeah! Oh! Gag me. <laughs> you know, I, I can't say I've ever seen such a happy, close-knit family. Uh, that's why we wanted to interview you. Neat. So, uh, big fans? Huge. Hockey's my favorite sport. This is his first Bruins game. And he's loving it. Yep. <laughs> and thanks again for taking Daddy and me. And I can tell that that little guy really loves you a lot. And I love him, too. And his Daddy. That could be me one day. Uh, you play hockey? You bet. My Dad and I played earlier today. It was a 1-1 one -one tie. My mom set up an ice rink for us. An ice rink, huh? Mm -hmm. You are one amazing mother. Oh, Fancy is not Marty's mother. I am. I should be at that game with Luis and Marty. Not her. Damn you, Fancy. Damn you! Ah! Oh. Did you hear that? Fancy is acting like she is Marty's mother. You know, I just, I wish a stray hockey puck would just knock her in the head and turn her into a vegetable. Here's Cindy Von Bulow's looking for a roommate. And my shrink said I had anger issues. What are you doing here again? I came to talk about Louise. Well, I'm not in the mood. You hate being wrong, don't you? Wrong about what? You used to be certain, smug. In fact, that when Marty came home again, Luis would be yours. What was that you said? Something about a child bonding a man and a woman? Well, apparently, the man and woman that Marty has bonded isn't you and Luis. What I just saw on TV, it looks like Marty has bonded Fancy and Luis together like super glue. The truth is, Marty isn't the threat to Luis and Fancy's relationship you thought he was. For now. Hmm. I'll admit, Fancy is playing this very smart. I assumed she would give Luis both the time and space needed to bond with Marty. But no. She has launched a full court press to win Marty over. And it's working. She may have won this round, but I'm on to her. I'm not gonna let it happen again. I've learned something. Never underestimate your opponent. That's right. Never underestimate your opponent, whoever it is. You aren't talking about Fancy being your opponent, are you? Let's just say she's not the only.
Pretty, are you suggesting that Fancy isn't the only one keeping me from Louise? Apparently, you just realized it as well. <laughs> okay. Look, you don't stand a chance with Louise. Not unless he has suddenly developed a scab fetish. Mm, and I used to like you. Just being honest. Good. Because the undeniable truth is that Luis made love to me. Mm -hmm. Because father forced him to. He wanted to escape to go find our son. Yeah, maybe it started that way, but a woman knows when a man is just going through the motions and when he's truly passionate about her. Luis had passion for me. Because he grunted towards the end? He always does that. Wow, you have a really good memory. You have only been with one man. One. So you don't know the difference between passion and pity. Not that it matters anyway. You're not even in the running for Luis. The only woman that Luis thinks he loves is Fancy. So she is my only competition. And not that it matters, because I will win in the end. Because deep down inside, he really loves me. We have a history together. Yes, one that goes through the ages, blah, blah. blah. More importantly, we have a child together. And as for you, Art, right, you have your memories. You had sex with Luis once. That's it. Luis and I had unprotected sex, Aunt Sheridan. Uh -huh. Who knows? I, I could be pregnant right now, and then we would both have a child with Luis. Not that it matters. Luis doesn't have feelings for you. Never has. Never will. <laughs> we won! Nice! Oh. oh, Marty, are you ready to meet the team now? I can't wait! <laughs> God. <laughs> you are amazing. Do you know that? I can't believe you did this. Getting Marty a ticket, I mean... This is going to be a night he will never forget. I'll never forget it either. It's been amazing. <laughs> yeah, Marty is amazing. Well, you are amazing too, and he thinks you are amazing. Really? You think so? Because I adore him. It shows. It's important to me that we all just get along. I just, I just want us to be comfortable with each other. Me too. Oh, I love this. It's incredible. The woman that I love is hitting it off with my son. Mm. Do yourself a favor, pretty. Stop fantasizing about a future with Louise. And get yourself a good electric blanket to keep yourself warm at night. I hope yours is in good working order. Because Louise will be with Fancy before he goes back to seconds with you. Marty will bring Louise back to me. It's just a matter of time. We'll see. Seriously, even if you are pregnant with Luis's baby, it won't land you with Luis. He's either going to be with Fancy or with me, not you. And there's nothing you can do to change that. We'll see, Aunt Sheridan. We'll see. You, know, you may have Marty and Fancy may have Luis for now, but people, they can turn on a dime. And when that happens, well, all bets are off. People say I'm delusional. Huh. Mom, Mom, we we're on TV. Hey, sweetheart, yeah, I saw you and Daddy. Fancy was on TV, too. Uh-huh. And after the game, Fancy took Daddy and me to go meet the players. She did? How nice. It was awesome. And the team even gave me a puck. Wow. And Fancy even took pictures of Daddy and me and all the players, and they signed them. Oh, my God, that is so cool. So cool. I can't <laughs> wait till you see them. <laughs> I can't wait. And thanks again, Fancy. Oh, it was my pleasure. And the team even carried me around the locker room on their shoulders, <laughs> and the coach gave me his whistle, and... Hey, hey, Marty. Oh, you slow down a little bit there, buddy. Give Mom a chance to catch up. But there's so much to tell. <laughs> I can't wait to hear all of it. Today was the best day ever. 
And thanks for making this the best day of my life. I'll second that. <laughs> Claim jumping bitch. <laughs> oh. Nancy? My grandfather didn't continue to use the implant in fancy after he put it in her head is beyond me. Oh well, Grandfather has his own future to worry about now. And if this will help me break up Luis and Fancy, then I'm gonna do it. Like the saying goes, all's fair in love and war. Even murder. Look, Fancy, even the team mascot gave me his autograph. Mm, wow! I know. <laughs> Marty had a really great time tonight. Hmm. He's really hit it off with Fancy. Yeah, so I see. You know, I was concerned that he was going to be confused and that she might be a little bit uneasy around him, but that wasn't the case at all. I mean, they really bonded. You know, I'm, I'm really, really glad that Marty had such a great time tonight. But, um... But what? I'm just afraid that this might be... A little too much, a little too soon. How so? Well, you know, going to the game, being on TV, meeting the players, being lavished with souvenirs. I, I just think that this might be a little too overwhelming for a child like Marty, who's lived so much of his life apart from the everyday world. And I, I worry that Fancy, even though she means well, might be overdoing things a little bit. Well, fancy can be a little intense, I'll give you that. And she does always like to get what she wants. And what she wants is for Marty to like her. All right, well, stop worrying, okay? The three of us had a good time, that's all. Besides, look at him. Look how happy he is. That is not the face of a child with issues. Yeah. We hope. <laughs> can you just be happy that Marty and Fancy hit it off? Well, she's going to be a big part of his life from now on. Oh, this couldn't be more perfect. This is the perfect time to show Louise just how intense and nasty Fancy can get when something sets her off. Something like this. <laughs> 